Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm good. I'm good. I'm here and on time. <laughs> Were you? You're early. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a minute. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect though. It's like now that we finally have the tech working, that's we both can get to the call early. We're always like trying to get to it in time, and look at us running smooth doing this. We've been doing it like a, over a month now, right? I know. So, Right. Okay. Well, I good. just had to go and look back to like double check on what I wore because I was like, oh man, I hope I'm not going to rewear a shirt that I wore last week. Yeah. No, I know. I think that sometimes because we're at home working. What about me? I usually put blazers on, but I'm like, I'm over it. I'm yes. Like, <laughs> us women don't wear blazers to be empowered anymore. We can do it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I was, I was thinking when I was on the call that it should, you know, a lot of these, like, uh, whether it's podcasts or lives, they'll start with something, and it should be, like, that music or that round table, like, that ticker of the prices, right? That tick, 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 you know? Oh, and yeah. it's where it falls to see what the topic is we're talking about today. You I know? like that. Yeah, something, because <laughs> we've covered down a few of them. So today I was thinking, you know, that talk more about leveling up women, generally speaking, not just recruiters, because we have mm-hmm. recruiters that are headhunting housewives in our group on Facebook. Um but also the career women looking to level up. And then right now with all the layoffs happening oh. on both sides, recruiters and career women, sometimes are looking to start their own business or side hustles or side businesses. So mm-hmm. we all kind of fall in that same group, you know? So that's why I love about our group Head on Housewives. We're both in there. We're both supporting each other. And I thought we could to talk about, you know, how we help each other level up faster together. Mm-hmm. Um, and so much for kind of where we begin with all this, but I feel like, there's a lot that the recruiters and the group women have in common as well, right? I mean, first of all, all the women I work with are badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're a recruiter, you're a badass. I mean, you're, sure. you're sales, right? And you're, you, whether you start in sales, you're sales. And then the women we work with, usually they're executives or working their way up to get to that level. You know, they're six-figure women and trying to, um, you know, hit higher and higher always. So there's so much in common there. And then both sides also often they have an entrepreneurial spirit because they're that kind of that badass gene. I feel like, you know, you want to be free. You want to have more time. You want to make more money. Why not? You're helping your family. You're not afraid to say it. Right. So um, I don't know exactly where I want to go with the help the different steps to give women to do that. I and mean, I think we can focus depending upon what they're doing. But what do you think about all that as an idea and a talk around that? Well, Interestingly enough, as you say, level up, there have been two, well, I'll say two individuals that I've recently connected with. And, you know, they're just like the clarity call, you know, it was just a, let's have a conversation. And what I found was that even just from my LinkedIn page, changing my services, putting out my content and just what I'm saying, I think they felt comfortable reaching Mm -hmm. out to me to have just a side conversation to understand what it is that I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how I might be able to kind of either refer, network, Mm -hmm. or even maybe offer a service to them in one way, shape, or form. And the conversations, I'm I'm one lady, she's got her own business on the side as well. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, you know, we talked about what we're, what I'm doing. And then she was like, can I share with you what I'm doing on the side? And I was like, absolutely. You know, mm-hmm. so I watched this video where we were supposed to connect yesterday, but it was a crazy day yesterday. So we're going to mm-hmm. talk tomorrow and just kind of have a conversation about what is the work that she's doing and what, how can I maybe help network her somewhere else maybe I know other people that would be very interested in what she's doing because this is the whole referral thing referral that referral is connecting with people to help you level up in your business you can reach more people with what it is that you're passionate about in what you do the other individual I spoke with honestly I don't recall that we had ever had a conversation before but we were just connected on LinkedIn Mm -hmm. Um, and she had sent me her resume because she's looking for work. Mm -hmm. Um, and she just thought maybe she's like, I really think I need help from a recruiter and recruiter, more recruiters. And I was like, well, sure. And what I did was I just talked with her about you and our services and the things Mm -hmm. that we're kind of doing. And I said, I'm, you know, I do a little workshops here and there, resumes, LinkedIn, job hunt stuff. You know, Mm -hmm. there's a 
a larger service of advisory services that can, they're going to be a little bit more costly, but mm -hmm. we can break it down and do little by little where you're doing a hundred dollars to just sit with me for 30 minutes and talk about your resume. Maybe sit with yeah. me for 45 minutes, talk about, you know, your job hunt, you know, yeah. that might be $150, you know, right. talking about these little pockets of money, but then mm -hmm. ultimately that'll just start to gain that trust mm -hmm. that down the line, maybe there's somebody who really could benefit from a larger service where then yep. you're going into that thousand, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand kind of bucket where mm -hmm. it, you've got le several layers of support ongoing for a pe longer period of time over several weeks. Right. right months, or months. Sometimes. Yeah, yep, exactly. No, it's so true. I think you really touch upon some great things for more of us women to help other women. You know, that trust factor has to be earned. And so you just don't jump in and start, you know, turn your credit card or money over to someone or in anything right. in business, right? And so I think the way that, especially for us women, that first call, we do this intro clarity calls for free often, right? Like mm -hmm. you and I talked about. So it's that kind of getting to know how we can help each other. And many times, if we're not a fit, maybe it's not jobs that we kind of service or a business we're really in, we're still going to point everyone in the right direction, you know, and often refer them out so many times just like you, it's referrals. I feel like, you know, we're referral queens, right? I feel like yeah. all my business for years came from referrals and I would go into new businesses. They would always say, oh, you're the referral queen, Diane, because I'm just referring everything out just because I believe in karma, Absolutely. <laughs> you know? So, and you're just referring and they're going to get business and they'll remember you. It's all good. And I think if more women did that versus, um, and men, I keep saying women because I want to help women raise their hand more and level up faster. It's time, right? Mm -hmm. But um, men are just more maybe in business inherently. They just do it automatically they'll you know it's like they'll take and give and I don't know I feel like women though it's like well give give a lot but then it's okay to take and receive that those things right, right? and so but it's got to start like you said with kind of first hand up the call figure out if it is a fit and then I found with um women more than men right like to help them level up especially if it's different for the ones we help with a career because they can often it's looking for jobs but you know in business when you're doing offers and things it's you know, you're putting, you're putting money out. Right. Um, and I think it's understanding that whatever money you're putting out, it's going to be, you're going to have an ROI on that. Like if you're working with the right mm -hmm. partner, there's going to be a return on that investment. So I know like today on Wednesday, I like to celebrate wins. I was really looking at some of that with the women that, okay, who invested with me this month, how much, and did they earn that back yet? Right. So whether it's a career advisor or um, recruiters that were helping learn with recruiting. Um, again, the C-level career, so a lot of that is about getting that job, right? So that's a little bit longer, it's a few months. But on those fast turnovers, right away in that first month, I would say 30 to 45 days, and you witnessed this too, you get that investment back because you learn something new from a woman that was there to help teach it to you or show you the ropes. Mm -hmm. So there's no, it's like the risk is gone. There's like the guarantee that you'll be fine as long as you're taking that next step. And if not, you go again, separate ways. There's nothing holding you together, right? Right. So I do think that more women would step into their power if they just realized that there wasn't that kind of risk because you don't have to take any next step until you're comfortable, right? And so, mm -hmm. you know, we teach those 10 steps, whether you're going after that next career, it's going to be that 10 step, 10 week process to find that job. We help you through the hunt, help with the resume, teach you about LinkedIn. Um, or those women starting businesses, this is how you etch it out. These are the workshops you do. This is how you build out your little niche, you know? that takes 10 weeks too, could take, you know, six months to a year sometimes, but you're only going to go at each level that you're ready to be leveling up, not down, right? You're going to keep going right. up. And so, and then, and the main thing is as women, especially because, you know, our business or our careers, I feel should be, you know, it's to serve our life, right? I don't want to like give my life, my time, my freedom away. The money is never worth it, <laughs> right? So you want the money, but every year we want more freedom, more money, more time. It's never right. Sacrificing. So I think when they realize that there are women doing that and that's possible for them, you know, so you and I and other women sharing more of those wins. I know we're all very humble and taught not to boast or brag or, and it's not that it's, you want to share the wins so other women can say, wow, look what, you know, look what I'm doing. Look how I leveled up in the past 90 days. So yeah. I, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Cause like uh, several weeks ago, I wasn't hosting workshops. 
and you know, I didn't even think that I could. And then I had one set up and then I did it. And I was like, oh, wow, that was actually, I did it. And then, you know, I had changed some, like I said, changed services on there. And I had somebody reach out to me on his own. Like I wasn't even through a referral, but it, mm-hmm. I guess I came up in a search for resume writing. And then he reached out to me. He's like, um, you know, can you help me out with this? And then I like brought it to you. And I said, um, you know, where'd you find me? And he's like, well, I just did a search. And then, you know, you were the one that came up and it looked to be the best. And I was like, wow, I just landed like my first one, like alone yeah. by myself, but not by myself because I was supported and guided <laughs> and partnered with you and giving me that spirit to up level myself to say that I can do this and be confident mm-hmm. in that, you know, so it's really come a long way. Cause I look at my calendar now and I've got my full-time job and I've got my screens that I've got scheduled with my candidates and I've got my workshops scheduled out and I have people slotted in for those sorts of things but I gotta say that those workshops and sitting here with you are like the calm in the storm (laughs) (laughs) because they're like it is it's like so much more Mm self-directed and it's like I'm in control of that time and then I'm feeling so good about what it is that I'm actually doing with that other individual individual on the other side of the screen Mm -hmm. and they're being really open and honest with me whether it's like the some of the men that I've talked to and they're Mm -hmm. you know they're a little unsure as to like I mean they've got great backgrounds you know they've been selling for years they've owned their own companies but they're like well which way do I want to go now I'm not really sure and I'm like hey it's okay to be a little bit unsure let's try to like just figure out what it is that you really have done Mm -hmm. and spirit you within your career path that you've been on and then we'll work together on, you know, what are the jobs that are out there? What are the, maybe the consulting that you want to do? You know, Mm -hmm. how do you want to continue to build yourself? And I think that that's just kind of siphoning in, you know, confidence into somebody else who maybe feels a little bit weary now because their consulting business is kind of drying up or, you Mm -hmm. know, they're not as happy in their roles anymore, or, oh, they've been laid off, you know, women, there's the women that I've talked to that have been laid off. And it's like, Mm -hmm. gosh, it just pulls out of the rug right out, right out from under you. And, you know, and that's what I said yesterday when I talked to that one individual, I was just like, well, you know, I was blindsided, hit in the face, whatever it was. <laughs> and I, uh, I was like, I had to, I called Diane and I said, I knew, I knew where to go, mm-hmm. you know? And that's what you've, I think you've given back to me is like, now I am also a place for someone to feel confident coming to. And that was just like a, a total switch in my head because of course that's what I'm doing I'm caring for my family you know love my babies mm-hmm. and you know I want to get to that point where I'm not just shuffling all day long even though I absolutely love recruiting right. for yep. the corporations too mm-hmm. but I want to be able to bring all that back into my family and yes let's go camping and we don't have to be intense we're going to get the cabin this time yeah. <laughs> we're going to go to Florida and we're going to go stay in a nice hotel and we're going to go out on the beach and we're we're going to be able to do it more often yeah. because this opens up much more of a door. Um, but that just made me think of something else with, I saw somebody else post um, another individual who worked for an organization before that, um, you know, she couldn't have a side hustle. Hmm. Though, you know, they, they shy away from that. They don't want to hire somebody who has a side hustle on the side. Now, I she posted like how, you know, she kind of left that whole thing and now she's doing her own thing and she's got this whole business that she's doing. But I will say that that was, you know, probably true, you know, with a lot of different organizations that I've been a part of where they kind of made you feel like you didn't have any time to do it at all. Right. Fun. But now, you know, coming into this other organization that I'm supporting, that was the first thing I led with Mm -hmm. was I am doing some other things here that I'm very spirited in, that I'm very passionate about, that I think has like a future for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking five, 10 years down the line now in a different way. And that just like, that's what I led with. And they were like, yeah, sure. That's fine. (laughs) <laughs> totally. You know, they're like, you do what you do. We just think that you're really good at your job and we'd love to have you here too. <laughs> oh, for sure. It's like so powerful when you know what your values are, your standards, and when you lead with that and power and confidence, of course, they're going to want to still want you. It's like, I think the women that maybe aren't, um, you know, able to go in and stand that firm and say, this is what I'm doing, you know, and because there are jobs that are accepting that now they want women like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, especially in this climate, you can't depend on companies as we're seeing, they'll let yeah. you go, right? They're not yeah. your family. And so the only company that you can count on is if you create your own. So that's why the entrepreneurial side is so important 
And that's why recruiting is so great because so many of us start our own businesses because you're used to doing contract work and 1099s, you get your feet wet with that and it can lead into your own business. So, or if you want to jump back into a corporate role, someone reaches out to you, it's very intertwined. Yes. But I think, you know, more women can take that model and do that themselves, be consultants and whatever you're good at, whatever you're doing in corporate, let's say you were laid off, you can be a consultant, an online consultant. I mean, that's what we're doing now. We're monetizing our knowledge to help people, right? We're monetizing your recruiting expertise for the job hunt. So many people can't figure out how to go on LinkedIn and job hunt effectively. You can show them in a half hour workshop, you know, yeah. this is how you do it quick and easy, you know? So I think women can do it with whatever they know. I think we all have that entrepreneurial spirit, the women at least that we attract, right? Whether they're right. recruiters or crew women, again, they share that. And I think that, um, yeah, it's just going to help them level up. And like you said, think about it differently where you can lead with your values, what you want and be thinking about that kind of return on your investment, you know, your investment of time and you want to give it yeah. all to a company. And then what is that? At the end of the day, what do you have versus when it's your own business? You know, you're seeing that grow. And especially in these businesses now where women helping women. I mean, even though, of course, still our clients, the men always find us on LinkedIn. It's still kind of, sure. it, that's the way it sounds great. I love helping the men too, obviously. But it's the women that need more help because they need more support. They're used to being that supportive role. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they, I remember when I had you years ago, when, back in the days when, you know, 20, <laughs> 1,500 years ago, when you were a <laughs> with my kids, um, you were my support system in the home in a way, right? So I could do, and then we kind of flopped and, and things switched around mm -hmm. so then you had that extra support for you to go out into the work world. But I think more women need to realize too, when you reach out to another woman, like that one that reached out to you for a phone call, just to see if you're a fit, if not, whatever, but it's going to see, okay, can we support each other? Right. Yes. Because women need support. I think from above you need an advisor, you need a mentor. If you haven't found that, whether it's someone, you know, that can help you for free or someone that you invest in with the ROI, you're going to need someone that has already been there. If you want to be at six yeah. figures, find a woman that has been at six figures. When you get to a million, get the woman ahead of you that's been to a million, you know? Mm -hmm. So you need that ahead of you, but then you also need support below you, right? Like I like to offer the VA that I use to other women that I'm working with. And I try to take all the admin crap even off like your plate, you know, so yeah. you can switch what you love on the side thing. And I think, and then hopefully your family supports you. So it's coming from all sides, you know, like a right. big hug. But, but in business, your family better support you, but really above and below. And I think, if a Mormon would reach out and realize we can offer that, it's not competitive, right? It's not mm -hmm. like salesy. It's like, here, we're going to help you. We've done it. We can show you how or get you that next career, negotiate more money. That's how you level up your offer. I mean, you're either as a woman in business, you're looking to receive offers from corporate or you're looking to give offers to people, right? Because you get a client. And so it's all about your service offerings. We go back. Yes. If that's the way it should be viewed, it's not, it doesn't have to be that whole man's world of take and, you know, cutthroat and competition like it doesn't have to be that way right it does not have to be that way at all mm -hmm. I will just say there was and I posted about it on LinkedIn I was so infuriated last night because I read something like a woman who's like it's none of your business she's I think she works for Nike and she's mm -hmm. promoting about her children and being able to care for them and, and whatnot and some guy no jokes says something on there of like, well, don't be mad when, you know, the person who's over here gets the promotion when you've taken uh, four maternity leaves in the last seven years. Um, and, you know, I had to pick up 10 extra hours a week and I was like, whoa, I said, wow, right away. And I was like, no, you don't you No, no, that, that, then I would never want to work with that individual or if that organization, if that is the mindset, because they're, we are here for a reason to have families yeah. and grow them, build on them, have a legacy of them. Like there is not, we're not here to just like, you know, cutthroat Complain. each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we're here to build on our families timeline mm -hmm. of life, like from way back when to where we are today and all the future of it yet to be here, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, I want to be able to set that foundation for my, my children. I want them to see me sitting here talking with you. I want them to see me sitting here talking on the phone and being in my meetings. You know, yeah. I, even though I did say to Valerie this morning, I was like, I need a nanny so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's yelling at me because she does. I'm not doing her hair the right way. I'm like, ah. I got to get on this call. Oh, Hold on. wait a minute. On a side note, if he's telling you you're not doing it the right way, M Melissa, Morgan and Madison talk about how they still, they had you, wish they had you to do their hair. Morgan loves getting oh. her hair braided. I can't do hair. I didn't play okay. Barbies when I was younger. I just didn't, I wasn't like that. I, <laughs> I didn't have the easy bake oven. I don't know what I was doing. 
but that's like you were so great because yeah so tell her he's got the best person doing her hair my mom yeah. has time and all that. thank you her <laughs> pigtails welcome. always look so adorable oh, yeah, the one cute. day she went to school with three pigtails in her hair that was not my decision but I was like <laughs> whatever you're Freedom. five nobody really cares <laughs> Yeah. creativity just go to school like that with pink tutus and crazy hair oh um, yes well Valerie certainly does uh, no I love that because I mean yeah I guess it circles back to our talk on freedom because yeah yes. we can create a world and a business that us women want where it's not like it used to be now because we're more at home companies have to let you do it if they're not you can now have your next job if you got fired congratulations welcome to the next level that you're gonna get to yes you'll go find a better job with better money more freedom you'll say what you want or you'll start that business but that next world you'll create, I think, with us, and um, so many women are doing this right now. I get more calls from women than ever wanting their business more now than a career, right? So mm-hmm. maybe they'll try both if they're not sure, scared, you know, but whatever it is. But you can build it the way you want it now. Like you got your calendars, you can fill your time, you're in your home, you got your space, you're controlling your time and space as a woman now. And the business is just there to serve you, you know? And I think any other women were there to serve each other. So it's going to be just, I, I think the next years to come here, the next five to 10 years are going to be amazing to see what more women build now that it's happening more. I feel like the momentum of it. And, um, and, you know, I mean, you think you know, about Madison, like the next generation isn't accepting any less. I mean, nope. Maddie's yeah. graduating you know, grad school already this year, which is nuts so and has her job lined up with Deloitte and they're offering, you know, remote, they can come to the office when they want certain days remote. She's an accountant, you know, it's not mm-hmm. even like other jobs you would think is more typically remote. She'll have that freedom when she didn't take the LA job that was offered. Join him in Philly. They found her a Philly job because you nice. know you, you have someone good like that. They want you, and that's a big company. That's one of those companies I wouldn't have thought mm. would do those things, right? right? But they're doing that for the next generation to get the best talent, and that's what it comes yes. down to, right? You best. want the best talent, then you mm. better offer some awesome perks, right? Absolutely. And that's what women want. We all want, but especially us women. Yep, less pressure on the people who can do the work and do the work well. Yeah, leave them alone. I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Like just show yeah. the results. Like right, yeah. and say all this. Like leave yeah. me. Yes, I'm by the pool on a Friday, but my quote is done. Right, leave me alone. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the, yeah. So, <laughs> well, good. Well, hopefully this conversation helped a woman listening to us say, hey, you know, and I'm sorry, Liz, I forgot to put the Zoom link. I want to start the little chat at the end. We had yeah. uh, the lady come on last week, and I really liked that. And I was like, oh, we do that every week. But it was a busy day. But I'll try next week to do that. Um, but if anyone's listening, you know, um, I'm only putting this right now in the Headhunting Housewives groups. They're probably all members, but I'm going to say it for when we put this out, I'm going to save it. Maybe put it on LinkedIn and we talk about, you know, LinkedIn more. If you want to then come join our Headhunting Housewives group, it's completely free. And if you're already in our group and want to book a call with Melissa or I, you know how to DM us, right? Find us in Facebook or go over on LinkedIn, DM a message and just take that first step. It's a free quick call and we'll see how we can help serve you. Yes. Perfect. I love it, Diane. It's always such a wonderful pleasure to see you and talk with you. And I love doing this because it's just reaching different people. I mean, even when I talked to this individual yesterday, I mean, that's what I did. I was like, hey, you know, we actually have a career advisor board group on LinkedIn. I'd love to invite you there. Um, Just we're just lifting it off. We're just getting Mm -hmm. things started. There's more to come in it. So I started and she was like, sure, I'd love to join that. I'm like, that's no pressure. That doesn't cost you any money. That's just like a first step into it. And down the line, who knows where it could go. Right. Yeah. Um, And then I said, Hey, I don't, I don't, usually not connecting with work, work people so much in Facebook, but I've opened myself up to that. And I'm like, you know what, let's connect on Facebook. I've got another group I'd love to jo- have you join into because if anything, it's just like, it's great inspirational information that might lead you somewhere better than where you are today. Yeah, for sure. As I said, LinkedIn, I love the fact that we're using that group on LinkedIn. I think that career advisory board, because we can pull mm-hmm. the current clients. It's based on LinkedIn. It's more professional Yes, where the women can go there to and all the men we're serving. But I think, uh, yeah, Facebook, they have that sisterhood community of headhunting yes. housewives, yes. right? Headhunters and housewives for women. I do love that field too. I do too. So I think both sides are great. And eventually they'll probably merge somehow. I'm not sure. You know, there's still two different boards, I guess. And, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I said LinkedIn, you know, when I first, I've been on it for a while. 18 years, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but how, how tight it's, it was to how loose it's becoming yeah. and, but hopefully not too loose. Like you want it to be just loose enough that you're like, right. yes, I can talk about the fact that I have children on LinkedIn, mm-hmm. but I can also make it so that I'm inspiring people on LinkedIn. And it's not just like, 
how to, you know, I don't know, some of these things yeah. on here are just absolutely ridiculous. Like, <laughs> it's like, right. you can you tell it's keep... corporate wrote that. <laughs> right. You went, right. Exactly. You want to kind of keep the professional, not too tight, but also not like all the birthdays and family, you know, it's like, a, right. you want to keep the two platforms, but uh, right. I know what you mean. It's like a, it needs to be a natural merge. It's funny how the different yes. social media, like TikTok is different with, I don't know, Insta at all, but like yeah. the different ones, they have their own little vibe about them. Right. But at the end of the day, <laughs> yes. yeah, so it's fascinating <laughs> for sure. So uh, yeah, and I've been learning the whole social media navigation, I think, more lately, really, since I, you and I connected again. I'm like, all right, I haven't gone on LinkedIn to at all. And I really started that with you because I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, let me see what other clients will pull in, in a different way now than just referrals. But, you know, right. so anyway, that's right. a topic for another day. We'll do okay. the whole referral topic and all that good stuff. That's that's a good topic, too. Awesome. But, all right. Well, thanks, everybody. And I'll see you tonight, Melissa. Yep. <laughs> see you tonight. Okay. All, all right. right. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.